Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our role permission everything. Right here, you can add some of the role permission. You can edit, update and delete it. Great. So that is all that our role. So now I want to do, I want to create some of the admin and into the ad, different type of admin area, I want to add the different type of role. Okay, then we can actually privilege all that our menu is step by step. I will show you for, for doing this. First of all, I want to that will be same. I have already done this type of one of the job. If you go to our all agent here, if you go to that our ad agent. Now you can see before I have already uh, uh, add that some of the ad agent. Now I want to do and to create another new menu. Okay, after that role and permission, I want to add on the new menu for the admin. Right now, I want to close everything. Okay, I want to close it, close it. User model also will be not needed in our sidebar. So that is in our admin sidebar. That means if you go to that view, into the view area, sorry, that is our view area, that is our admin, and then body, and that is our sidebar. Okay. So now here, after that, okay, after that, I want to create another new one, but I select that LI. I copy this total LI. I okay, copy this total li and after that I want to do and to paste it now only two of this menu will be enough I want to remove it that will be two that will be as a admin manage okay about manage admin manage admin admin user great and also I want to change that our link that will be as a admin okay I want to use it as a admin that will be as a admin great now i want to do i want to create two of this menu one will be as a all admin okay all admin that will be as a add admin admin that will be as a add okay great great now i want to create it so that will be as a all admin this type of one of the route i want to create as a admin that will be as a all admin all admin means i want to simply get all the data from our user table now go to our web browser that will be also privileged in our admin that means our middleware that i have created for the admin right here that will be same i want to better copy hmm, like here i want to actually copy it one by one now we have to update now better after that i want to do i want to paste it okay i simply paste it that will be for the admin okay admin user admin user all route you can create some of the controller rather than for now i want to do i want to use that our admin controller you can see before i have already created as a admin controller now i want to don't use it okay so that will be in which place that is our admin user all route that will be i want to access that our group controller group controller i name it as a um, admin okay admin controller great now only one i take it now in here in our sidebar i name it as all admin so now that will be as a all admin i want to update that our url will be as all admin i want to create another new method as all admin okay now this type of one of the method i want to create in our admin controller if you go to that our admin controller area here i have already done multiple things now after that okay after that you can see here i have also done the our agent user method so that will be just like that same mm, yeah that will be same but i copy it and now after that i want to do and to paste it okay here i want to paste it now that will be for the admin okay admin user all method now our method should be as a all admin i make it as a all admin now i want to take another variable as a all admin and now i want to access that our user model and into the user model area where our role will be now which one our role will be as a admin right if you now go right now we don't need it i want to close it i also want to close it now if you go to that our user model that means user table into the user table now only only i want to do and to get that our um, which user role should be as a admin right so that is the data i want to take so if you want to get it so our role should be as a admin then i want to get all the data then i want to return a view return view in our same into the back in the pages folder okay so that is a pages folder i want to take it that is a pages right so pages pages folder and here now i want to create another new folder as a admin and then i want to create another new file that will be as a all admin okay 
great so i take that our user admin data i take that thing so this variable here i simply pass it now in our pages folder i want to clear on the new folder as an admin okay into the pages folder i want to clear on the new folder as an admin and then i want to clear on the new file as a all admin i hope you already get the point what exactly the things we have to do in here so that will be as a all admin dot blade dot php okay now i want to load one of the list page okay if you want to load some of the list page that means that will be just like our um, if you go here i have already did this type of work for the our agent right so that is our agent you can you can see that is our back in and that is our agent user and that is our all agent <laughs> so now i want to copy everything from to the all agent and now i want to paste it in our ad or that is all admin area okay here i simply paste it and also they have some of the checkbox mm, why i'm actually using it <laughs> We don't need any script right now in here okay i want to simply remove that script that is for our active or inactive i have already created this type of one of the functionality before right now that will be very simple here we don't need multiple things so i want to do to create that will be our add admin okay that will be the add admin and then that will be as a admin all I want to display that serial, serial number. I want to display the images, name, role that will be not needed. I name it as email. I want to display the email. I want to display the phone. Okay, phone. Everything is in our user. And also here I want to display the role. Okay, because for a specific this user which role you assign, that is a role should be also display now i want to do that is some of the condition we don't need any condition that is a status also we don't need it i want to make it as a clean that will be for the edit and delete button okay which is fine okay, which is fine that is our edit and that is our delete hmm, that's all now first of all that will be display our serial number here i have already get all that our admin user data as a all admin i pass it in our all admin page now that is our all admin i take with the variable as an item now with this item it shall be display with this item our user table field name also as a photo which is fine only our folder name that should be changed right because for the admin i have actually used it if you go to our admin profile I have used that our folder name as a admin images right now that should be as a admin images and then with this item it will be display the photo else it will be display as a no image hmm. that's all that's all and then after that I want to display that our name name will be the our user table field name as a name and then I want to display another one okay here i want to display multiple file that means multiple name that is a name i want to display as a name then that will be as email or field name user table field name as a email user table field name as a phone okay phone that should be display and that should be display as a role so right now i make it as a only role here we have to work a little bit and then that will be our action hmm, that's all that's all now let's check this out if you not click as a save all I want to run that our optimize okay php artisan optimize is running successful and now if you go i want to check it okay here right now i want to refresh it now that should be another new menu you can see there is a manage user admin user if you go to that our all admin hmm you can see it's now successfully get our that have right now two admin and successfully get that images this user hmm, that is a no images that is on the demo data now there is a name is visible email is visible phone number and role and then edit and up delete hmm great so friend in our next video i want to do i want to work for the add some of the admin user okay so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video